All right, thanks. We're here with Coach Eric Spolstra. What an unbelievable way to end the season to see yeah. Dwayne Wade get a triple-double in his final game. Impossible to think that that could happen. Yeah, especially literally probably uh, an hour before the game, uh, he and I were talking, and he had been on the table you know, the, the entire time he was here, uh, he did a bunch of treatment at the hotel this morning. This morning he texted me saying he didn't know if he'd be able to, to go. Uh, and he asked me if there's, you know, what I thought, how we could uh, still make it worthwhile for everybody because he felt such a responsibility. Um, and then, it, you know, we just said, okay, we'll just see how you feel if, you know, after treatment and a little bit of more rest and we get to the arena. Uh, and then I talked to him an hour before uh, tip and he still didn't feel great. His knee wasn't, leg wasn't moving uh, great. And just in typical Dwayne uh, fashion, he just figured he had to be out there. You know, since uh, so many people showed up and there's so many uh, uh, Wade and Miami Heat fans uh, that he felt uh, a responsibility. That, that, that's just so awesome. Uh, and then I've said this before, he could just write his next book. It's got to be called Moments. He knows how to capture moments. Uh, as well as anybody that's ever played this game. Uh, and then to, to play this game uh, when he didn't feel great uh, and then get a triple-double and get his last assist uh, to uh, UD uh, is, is the definition of capturing these moments and, and really giving everybody what they wanted. Let's talk about that moment for, for, for a second. I mean, it's surreal that, that he would get a triple-double in, in his final game of his career and that Udonis would do it with a jump yeah. shot. I mean, you couldn't script it any better. It's like back in the, in the saddle again, you know, uh, putting both those guys in the starting lineup. It really just was like for myself, like going in a, into a time machine. And it was, boom, 2008. Uh, two guys that I trust uh, and will go to uh, battle in, in this great game any day. You know, and, and they have such a history together. Uh, they are connected. It's a, a symbiotic relationship. Uh, they care so much for each other. Um, you know, Dwayne didn't even realize that in the first half that he was on his way. Uh, Justice was about to shoot at the free throw on that uh, uh, clear path foul. And I said, come on, uh, Dwayne is on his way to a triple-double. <laughs> and Dwayne looked at me and said, really? Uh, you know, that's how much he just, you know, he plays the right way, you know, when he's not even uh, trying uh, uh, to hunt for one of those and um, you know it's just been a lot of fun these last two nights uh, we've been in, in a, obviously some epic uh, meaningful moments uh, uh, during his run their run together uh, but these last two nights have, have been a couple of my most memorable that I'll take with me for, you know, for the rest of my career we can understand that finally uh, this felt like last night we're here in Brooklyn instead of the moment being about them clinching the sixth seed and going to the playoffs for the first time yeah. since 2015 nobody left the building but it yeah. was all for Dwayne Wade it's incredible yeah I've never seen that before you know in whatever 24 years uh, in this league uh, we have a history with uh, New York fans here that goes way back uh, and it used to be a lot more uh, a lot more vitriol and animosity uh, attached to it uh, and then Dwayne Wade came along and he changed that uh, and the, the fan base uh, really started rooting for him and for us uh, but the fact that uh, fans would would stick around and, and chant all game long and then stick around afterwards uh, is something you just don't see. And Spoke finally, uh, you guys are always about winning games and winning championships and and, and making the playoffs. And and this year we we've come to realize over the last 48 hours the gift is not the playoffs this year. The gift was Dwayne Wade this year. Yeah, uh, and it, that's the gift that we didn't think necessarily we'd ever have that opportunity again. You know, two and a half years ago. Um, but, uh, you know, it hasn't, I thought he said it best last night before the game. Uh, the season, even though everything was set up to be about him, uh, he made sure that it wasn't. Uh, and that was his giving spirit and uh, his empathy, uh, you know, the fact that he wants to share uh, the game and, and grow the next generation of, of uh, Heat Life players. And uh, you just have no idea what kind of impact this can have these last 48 hours uh, on guys, our, our young pros that are 22 years old, 23, 24, 25. Uh, but they see this and they see uh, the global following uh, that he has. And, and you realize it's a lot more than just you know, what kind of basketball player you are. It's what kind of person you are and uh, how you carry yourself with dignity. And, um, and Dwayne checks all those boxes.
Was there ever a question about starting UD? And was there a question about another double-double still left in his holster tonight? Oh, he still, uh, he still has those, uh, uh, you know, and... He sacrificed as much as anybody, obviously, but UD can still play. He still can, and, and we see it all the time uh, in practices. We have a, lot, a bunch of young bigs that uh, he's really taken on uh, the ownership to mentor and to help develop and, and everything, but uh, just as I did three and a half weeks ago, fully in a playoff hunt, uh, I was playing him uh, because I trusted him, uh, and he's been in, in all of these uh, battles before, uh, but... No, there wasn't uh, a hesitation. It wasn't a, a doubt that I was going to play both of these. Uh, if for no reason, I just wanted to feel like I was going back in time, uh, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the season didn't necessarily go how we want, wanted it to, uh, but these last 48 hours went the way it should. Two procedural questions. Um, Goran didn't play the second half. Is he okay? Was, did the yeah. knee act up eventually at the end of the season? Uh, no. You know, I thought he was moving better, actually. Um, you know, tonight he wasn't moving great, and we really wanted to play, uh, you know, Duncan and Yante more minutes. Um, so he volunteered that, uh, and he wasn't moving uh, extremely fast uh, in the first half. Uh, but, um, you know, it also speaks to Gorn and his commitment, you know, to being a real pro. Uh, he, wouldn't, he didn't necessarily have to push the pace to get back right. as fast as he did, and he did. Uh, and it took him a little bit of time to find his rhythm. It took him a little bit of time to get back into the starting lineup. Um, but he was playing his best basketball, you know, the, the last couple of weeks of the season. And it's not playing today. Uh, back Same around that. Thing. Uh, that was more just a, uh, playing UD. Mm -hmm. that, that changed that dynamic. And um, you know, I asked him, and uh, he said, "No, let, let UD uh, roll." I think we all felt that anyway. You said multiple times you didn't want the season to end with Dwayne. What what are the emotions now? I know it just ended, but what are the emotions yeah, right have now? To give me some time on that. You know, when he left for Chicago, uh, my wife snapped me back into attention. It took me probably a month or six weeks to to stop feeling sorry and you know and and feeling uh, you know depressed about it uh, because that was just a big change. Um, this will probably take a little bit longer. Um, but we'll get through it, and, and he's not going away this time. Like, that was, that was the part that was really hard. It was, he was in another uniform. It just didn't look right, didn't feel right. It wasn't right. This, he's going to be part of uh, our family, um, you know, for the rest of, of the go at this. Um, you know, whatever role uh, that he figures out that he, he wants to do. I know he'll want to unplug and, and, uh, and just breathe and get away from this and recalibrate. Seeing the guys that were here, LeBron and Carmelo and Chris yeah. Paul, the one doesn't make it hard to worry about his minutes when those guys are kind of leading the cheers. I don't know if you saw that at all, but just too the fact that those guys would come, uh, kind of show for Dwayne. You know, guys have their own lives and their own business, and they all come out to this game here. Kind of what that probably meant for him. Yeah, they they have a special friendship, and that's that's well documented. Uh, those those guys uh, have spent a lot of time together, and that transcends uh, you know sport.